The unit for today is the art of the deal, and it has to do with dealing in business. And you know that dealing can be an art or a skill. Do you agree? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes Amy. And uh, is it a skill that is born with people or it is something that you gain it through time? I think uh, it has a bit to do uh, whether it is born in people or not, but most of the time experience makes you more uh, capable of doing business deals. Yes. Uh -huh. Anyone else who would like to say anything? Hera, would you like to share? Uh, yes, uh, I think uh, it is uh, a skill that you can learn, but uh, there are people that are born with it. Uh huh. Yes. So both sides. Okay, the unit today has to do with dealing that it can, in this case, uh, in the article, it can be something that you gain. Now I'm sharing the other page in exercise number one. Yes. Do you see it? Yes. So whenever we bring souvenirs from the holidays, they can be brochures, decorative objects, uh, duty-free goods, locally made products, postcards, t-shirts with slogans or use tickets. Why do we usually take such things? Not only these that are mentioned here, but generally things that we get from um, the countries we have been to. Why do people keep them? As a memoir to the experience yes, and Sarah? time spent. Uh -huh. um, they make you remember the place that you work together with all the uh, memories you have had there and any experience and any good uh, event that you have uh, experienced in that place. Uh huh. Yes, Amy. Okay. And um, that's why we are going to, to read the text in exercise number one number two also says the article by andrew mccarthy okay i'm starting the first paragraph and another one can read the other paragraphs i'm in marrakesh the bustling heart of morocco with my son sam he's eight we've come here with mohammed a friend who owns a shop in our neighborhood in new york sam can often be found in mohammed's shop looking for a bargain they argue about prices and chat about swords or camels or the desert. You need to come to Morocco, to Marrakesh, Mohammed told me. I'll show you around and teach Sam how to really get a bargain. So here we are. Yes, in this paragraph, Hello. you had the word bargain as a noun and also the bustling, bustling heart of uh, Morocco. You also have these words explained at the bottom of the page, bustling and bargain. Yes? So bargain is something that uh, you buy at a low, or a deal that you make at a low price, but good in quality and bustling, uh, very active, energetic, and also busy. Any other word from the first paragraph that you don't understand? No. No. I would like to continue from line 9 to the 21. Hello, you? Yes, Emmy. Okay. Uh, we, meet, we meet up with Mohamed over a cup of mint tea in the beautiful old city of Marrakech. We are sitting in an area next to the exotic stalls of the Souk, Marrakech's world famous yes. marketplace. It's souk, in fact, Souk. Yes. Souk. Okay. Uh, yes. Market sellers with carts offer freshly squeezed juice, others sell dates or figs. Later, as we wander around, Mohammed introduces us to olive sellers, tile makers, and rug merchants. He also begins the first of his lessons in the bargaining for Sam. The price of everything in Morocco is open to discussion, Sam. When you hear a price, the first thing you say is too much, bizarre, and then walk away. But what if I like it? Yes, thank you. So, in all these two short paragraphs, we had the word dates or figs. I suppose you know figs. It's that kind of fruit that also in Albania, it starts from May um, up to July. And some others can be uh, produced even in uh, a late, let us say, autumn. And um, the dates, you know. Do you see? What are dates? Uh -huh. okay. Yes. Mamarabia. The ones that we know as Arabic khaki, yes. These ones are dates. Okay. Yes. 
we have to come to the screen again. Yes. Yes, here we are again. The passage? Yes. Oh, okay, then. We can go on from line 20. Someone else who would like to go on and read? Brandon, can you? Yes, When you see something you like, maybe a lamp, you ask about something else instead. Then as you walk out, you ask, and how much is that lamp as you just notice it and aren't really that interested in it? We turn a corner into another narrow street in the soap. Do, uh, don't always give an offer. Make them continue to lower the price. Oh, and where's something Moroccan? Mohamed continues as we enter a fairly large shop. Most of the stalls in Marrakech sell mainly one type of thing, but not this one. Yes. Decorative and deadly looking swords hang beside soft hand dried, dyed fabrics. Large camel bones covered in writing sit beside massive copper lamps. It is here that Sam spots a beautiful box. Look, a treasure chest. It's made of wood and painted red and gold. He opens the lid and closes it. Cool. Then he spots a tall blue bottle, an old perfume bottle. 400 dirham, the shopkeeper says. $50. Yes. So dirham, as it says, is another currency there. And it is equal to $50, the, the 400 dirham. Any word that you didn't understand here? No? Uh, no. Okay, we can move on to the other paragraphs. Yes, from line 35 to 45 or 46. Yes? Tazus. Who is it? Uh, Hera? Tazus. Yes, Hera. Sam says nothing. I can't tell whether he's too shy or is practicing what Mohammed is talking. Go on, Hera. Sam is really interested in only one thing. Late afternoon, we returned to the shop where Sam saw the treasure chest. You have returned. Very good. The shopkeeper opens his arm. He places a chest on the floor. Sam opens the lid. He runs his fingers on it. The shopkeeper says, give me 2500 Yes. Oh, okay. We can continue till the end. Who would like to continue? Fiona, can you? Sam shakes his eight-year-old head. 800 I like your... Babushis? Says babushis? the man. Babushis, yes. Sam's wearing a pair of bright yellow Moroccan slippers. He ignores the comment. You're very good. I'll take a thousand eight hundred dirham. The shopkeeper announces one thousand. Both are silent. Neither blinks. What happens next happens fast. Fifteen hundred and it's yours. Twelve hundred. Fifteen hundred? Yes. The man holds out out his hand. Sam grabs it. The deal is done. Mohammed will be proud. Yes, this was the end of the of the article. Okay, we can get back to page 110 and continue with the exercises on this article. Okay. So, exercise number two. We read the article. So, what kind of shopping experience the article describes? Buying crafts direct from the maker, choosing holiday gifts for friends and family, or looking for bargains in local markets. Is it A, B, or C? What kind of shopping experience is described? Looking for bargains. Yes, it's C, looking for bargains in local markets. Okay, the next, the next question. Tommy, can you read it? Who are the three people that are mentioned in the article? There are only three people mentioned. Okay, we are, yes, exercise three, the first question. Who are the, who are three, the three main, main people? people in the article and why do they go to Morocco? At, yes, at, is the first one? Is? Uh, is Sam? Uh, Sam? Uh-huh. Uh, his, his son? His son. So it is also the first one, the, the writer? Yes. Andrew McCarthy, his son Sam, and? Who is the other one? Mohammed. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. We continue. Why do they go to Morocco? Uh, Who would like to answer? Um, Why? Yes? 
to uh, look for bargains? Yes, to look for a bargain. Yes, Amy. Okay, the next question. Can we go on? Um, Hera, what two things does Semi buy and how much does he pay for them? Okay, so he buys a bottle, which is about $24. Yeah. Uh, and uh, a chest, uh, which he bought for about, uh, which he bought for 1300 uh The one that he, he also made a deal. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, great. And uh, the next question, which is Sam's most successful purchase? Amelia? The treasure chest. Yes, the one that he made the deal. Okay, in exercise number four, are you following me? Yes? Yes. Okay, so find the things that are described with these words in the article. Okay, we are getting back at the article again because here we only have the adjectives and we want the noun that they modify from the article. What can be the beautiful old from the article? City. City, beautiful. yes, you can complete the gap. City. Uh -huh. uh, world famous. World famous. Marketplace. Marketplace. Yes, marketplace. Uh -huh. The other one. Deadly looking. Swords. Swords, yes. Hand dyed. Fabrics. Fabrics. Uh huh. Okay. Freshly squeezed. Oh, we have missed one. Oranges. Yes. Oranges or juice in general. It can be lemons as well because it is not described what type of uh, fruit was mentioned. Yes. What is the noun in number six? Massive. Copper. <coughs> Copper? Uh, mm. Lamps. Yes, lamps. Okay. Um, the other one, tall blue? B? Tall blue? What the, what bottle. One? bottle. Yes, bottle. And the bright yellow Moroccan? What are these? Slippers. Slippers or babushes that were mentioned Bananas. there. Yes. Okay. So you see in exercise number four, all the adjectives that are used, they stay before the noun that they modify. And in number one, number six, seven, and eight, there are used more than one adjective. Okay. And we know that the right order of the adjectives is that the first one comes, beautiful expresses what? Opinion. When you say something is beautiful, you give your opinion. Opinion. So the opinion adjectives come the first of all. Then you know the chart that they are followed by. In our case, we have all that describes what? Age. Age. Okay. If I had, for example, before age, if I had uh, this adjective, tall, it describes? Where would you put it? Size. Okay, yes, yeah, size. If I had a square, square table, for example, it, square is? Shape. Is, yes, it's it's shape. shape. Okay, and if I say copper, I am asking material. the material. material. And Moroccan? Origin. Uh, origin. Uh, origin. Yes. Or? Origin. Yes, the same. 